So this video is just basically to show how you load a sack in in order to make a batch. If you'll notice at the top there it says SAC 304. That's the particular prescription number and underneath it it lists all of the things that go into that prescription uh, item by item and how much of it's in there. So this bag is known as a sack. That's kind of confusing but uh, you can just kind of always refer to it as the sack and you're good. Uh, so when you put the sack into your pure flow machine which is this uh, bottom half of the next stage system one when you put it into this machine you slide it into this drawer and it replaces your empty uh, batch so and I'm gonna get some light to shine down in there so you guys can see what's in there a little better and show you how to get the old one out and put the new one in and start making your batch so hang tight so this is the sack to open up the sack uh, like a lot of the other bags you'll find a perforated end here uh, is the one here so you just tear that and it'll kind of go down the side of the bag like so and then you just slide slide the sack out like so and you can get rid of this, the bag you don't need anymore and that's all there is to taking it out uh, you want the label to where you can read it so not upside down you want it at that end and so you can read it and that's how it'll go into the into the bucket once we put it over there okay so as you can see we've done two treatments and our sack down there has uh, debatched. It is empty. We are done with that and ready to get rid of it. Uh, notice that the counter still says the expiration time, how much time is left for it to sit in there before it would be bad, but since it's empty, we're ready to take it out. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to tell it that we want it to stop by holding the, the stop button that's right here on the corner down for about two to three seconds. and then it'll pop up on the screen it'll say you know continue go or to drain stop and we want to stop drain go cancel stop go so we're going to hit the green button on this one uh, it's trying to trick us rabbit season duck season style into pressing a different button so we're not falling for it we're going to hit the green button and tell it to go now it starts the draining process but it's empty it's drain dry so we're done here we can also stop that by hitting the stop button it'll pause and then hit hold down the stop button again and it'll say drain complete more in other words do you want to drain more or are you done and we are done so now it says flushing now we don't interrupt this this takes about two minutes and all that does is it takes all of the liquid that's left in the lines in the system here and flushes that out so we don't want to stop that we're gonna let it do its thing for about two minutes and we'll be right back okay so now it is done flushing it beeps when it's done doing it and kinda changes the message on the screen if you can read that now it says unload close blue clamps and it's talking about the blue clamps right here on the side of the machine there are three of them you'll want to close all of those so I'm just gonna reach up here to the top one clamp that one clamp the middle one and clamp the lower one and now that they're all clamped I say okay I did what you told me I hit green I say now what and then it says unload open door remove sack so we know the sack is this thing and the door it's talking about whenever it says that is this thing so you open this and you open this one like so and we're done with this stuff so you can just pull it and it just kinda falls right out into the bucket here take your chicken foot piece that goes in there too you're done with that and then you close this back close this back 
and it was waiting on you to close the door. So now it says stand by, no batch, press go to start. So if you're going to make your next batch, then you can go from here, after we take this out of here and your bucket is empty again, you can go straight into making the next batch so that it's ready to go if you've got back-to-back -back treatments coming up or something like that. Uh, otherwise, until you're ready to make batch, this would be the step that you would stop. You can unplug the machine and save the power. You don't have to pay that, power part, that part of your power bill. Uh, so go ahead and just turn your machine off and let it sit because there's nothing in here. There's no liquids uh, left in here to worry about. The pack is self-sealed and contained so it doesn't do anything for you to unplug the machine and save the power and not have it humming. Uh, if it's in a spot where the background noise bothers you, then you don't have to deal with it if you don't want to. So once again, this would be the spot that you would stop if, you were not, if you're not going to make batch. Um, once we get the sack out of here, which I'm going to reposition the camera and show you that. But as far as what's on the screen, this is where you can basically unplug the machine and it won't hurt anything. Okay, so uh, we have removed those lines from the machine itself. Everything is just kind of sitting in here. The only thing that we've got left to pull that also goes with it is this orange, orange line here. So go ahead and clamp it. It doesn't usually spray anything out, but uh, that doesn't mean that it wouldn't if there was still some liquid left in this line uh, you know then it could come out it's just the water line so even then it, you know it shouldn't hurt you or anything but just to keep liquid from getting on any of this electrical stuff just go ahead and clamp the line and about a turn and a half and it pops right off that goes down in here too and now you'll notice that the elbow piece that was in here that is the line that goes to these blue clamps. So, and you could unscrew in a couple of places on here. So, just to be clear, the one that you're unscrewing when you switch these out is the one that has that flip cap, that flip top on it. Uh, these all get thrown away. So, your new sack will have this connection, that part of the connection on it. And this is done. This is trash from here down. This little piece still has one blue clamp, it should be clamped, uh, attached to the pack and that stays there. So at this point nothing is connecting the sack uh, to the machine at all. I can reach down in here and I just bring it forward and roll it. You know, if it, if it pulled all the liquid you know, out of it and whatnot, it's fairly dry, they get fairly compact. Uh, takes up a little space in the trash can, but you know, you, once you roll it up nice and tight, it's pretty easy to manage. So that's it. That's how you remove the sack. And like I said, this would once that's out and you've thrown it away, this is empty. Nothing is connected here that you need to worry about, uh, and you can turn the machine off until you're ready to actually make your next batch, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've had the machine turned off. We just plugged it back up, and when we do that, it says standby, no batch, press go to start. So I've already taken my sack and put it down in here. Notice that the label is readable, like the words are facing the right way, and that part is pushed all the way to the back. Then once I've got it pushed all the way to the back, all I do is unfold it. and you'll find this inside. You can just remove that. Now, uh, for the next part, before you start touching the line, since the, this is the new sack, and before you uh, start you know, hooking things up and whatnot, you wanna go ahead and put gloves on. So I'm gonna put gloves on and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I've got my gloves on. Uh, I'm going to reposition the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing kind of down in here a little bit and see what's happening over here on these connections because that's really what you should be paying attention to. So uh, give me just a second, I'm going to reposition the camera and show you what's in here. Okay, so hopefully you can see a little bit better uh, what we've got down inside here. You'll see that the lines 
go into your sack, they are all bound together by another one of these little white tabs. So you just take that off. That frees up all your lines. Okay. Uh, the next thing that you got to take off that's part of the packaging is on your blue line you'll see this little white plastic thing. You just pop this through there and take that piece off. And we are ready now to see what the computer wants us to do next. So I'm going to hit go to start. It says initializing for a second. And now it says open door load SAC 304. So I'm going to open my door and open this little door here too. And you're going to take the elbow end and that goes kind of right in this spot. There's two little clamps that kind of hold it in place. The elbow goes on the left and then the spot where all the other lines come out is right here kind of in the center. You'll see one line goes up the top and it also needs to be pushed into the track right here. And that is your chicken foot line. So once I put that in, I kind of I just throw this down the side. Just lay it on the ledge right here just to kind of get it out of my way. Next, just kind of going clockwise around. Next, I take this guy and I'm going to put it right in there in the middle. It kind of arches up and then comes out the other side. And then I close that door, get that done. So next line is right here, and that goes to the sack itself. You'll notice that it has one of these little green collars on it. Now this, you have to grab a hold of the line pretty you know, firmly, and then pull down on that green collar until you feel it kind of give way a little bit, and that opens up the line here going into the sack. So we're going to do, I'll shut that so maybe you guys can see a little better. Uh, same thing on this other green line. Just pull on it until you feel it seat all the way down against that connector. And then those two lines are ready to go. So that's this line and this line are ready to go. This line is the other end there. So now it's beeping at me because it wants me to close the door. Now we've got the orange connector and we're going to take the little plug off of the end of it like so and screw that into the middle the one that's kind of reddish orange in the middle on the left of this little unit here. You'll see three connections and this one goes on the middle. Leave it un unclamped. It doesn't need to be clamped. You're all good there. And last but not least, we've got our blue line connector. Now, like I said, uh, when we removed the sack from last time, this part is here for me already. So I've just got to connect it over there to my blue line. And to do that, I just flip this top up, bring it over, and screw that connector on. And then I want to unclamp that blue clamp that we clamped when we removed the sack. So, and I kind of drape this around this corner just so it stays open. Sometimes it likes to twist and then you'll get a kink in the line. So I just put it around that corner and that kind of uh, seems to keep that from happening. So now I've got all my lines hooked up. I'm going to close the door. You don't really have to do the connections now because next thing it's going to ask you to do is connect the lines. So we're a step ahead of them. We've already done that part. It you know, doesn't hurt anything to go ahead and do that kind of all at the same time. So we hit green again. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll see it say batch, 60 liter batch in our case. Uh, time remaining 7 hours and 17 minutes. H2O pressure attenuation is what that is. So uh, it's checking to make sure the water pressure is good first. And it'll go through a series of things through uh, the first part of this where it's just checking to make sure all the pressure is good and that you don't have any kinks in your lines anywhere that are going to keep it from making this batch. So, But outside of that, you're done. Just push this back in, kind of keep your lines forward. 
and then make sure everything is got a nice loop to it that there's no kinks in the lines and everything looks good there so we've got our chicken foot running that way we kind of put this on the side and then we can close the front door and leave this thing doing its work uh, making that batch for the next seven hours so that's it that's how you make a batch